Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Spartan Elite 43 and uh, we are going to be continuing our Fittober challenge from Hustle where we do 160 push-ups a day. Uh, now, I will say this, I am extremely sore right now. My shoulders do not want to work. So I'm going to have to change it up a little bit today. I'm going to have to break it up into smaller sets. Um, I fit, sorry, I figure we'll do sets of 10 and get a rest in between sets of 10 and then we will try uh, to squeeze in as many sets of 10 as we can in each each uh, I guess you would say round I don't know what would be <clears throat> a, after a set so a session maybe uh, and then we'll just try to get the 160 in throughout the day rather than in two sessions because I'll be real my shoulders are dead I have no idea how this is going to work. Now, a lot of people have been uh, suggesting different things, like uh, I've got to try to get my shoulder or my elbows in, uh, like a 45 degree angle rather than out here. Uh, but currently, this is the only way I've got to do it. Uh, a lot of people suggested doing it uh, modified push-ups, which is where you're on your your knees on the floor, uh, which is another good idea. But currently, uh, I do not have my exercise mat. I am getting one. Uh, it should be here anytime, uh, but until then, I can't really do that because it hurts my knees too much. I got bony knees, and so when I'm down on, on the floor trying to do modified push-ups, it just kills my knees. Um, so I'm going to stick with the sink for now. Uh, I'm going to try to keep my back straight, still get that full range of motion that I was getting yesterday. Um, we'll just see where we end up. Again. I'm no fitness expert. I'm nobody in particular. I am very out of shape. I've uh, been, like I said, I've done a pretty good job of losing weight in the last year, uh, doing everything solo. Uh, that, that apparently is not fixable at the moment. Sorry, I'm getting distracted. But uh, yeah, I appreciate every all the support, man. You guys were crazy. I was not expecting so much support. I thought there'd be a lot of trolls down in the comments that that say this or that or whatever. But from I'd say 99.99% of the comments were supportive. And there was a lot of people that said they're joining in. So to those of you who are joining in on the challenge, much appreciated. Also want to give a special shout out to Haas, uh, Haasinator. He asked me if I could do an extra rep for him uh, because he's unable to because of nerve damage in his arm. So uh, I will be doing an extra rep for him. I actually figure I'll do an extra rep for him uh, every session. So uh, the last the last push up that I do each session throughout the day, I will do an extra rep for Haas, um, just because. I mean, the, you you got to do it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, this is a community. I've worked hard to build the best community possible for my channel, and you guys are absolutely amazing. Um, I honestly couldn't ask for anything better. You guys are cra crazy awesome. Uh, so we're going to get back in here. <clears throat> I think I've stalled long enough. Uh, we're going to get out of here. We're going to knock these out. Uh, like I said, I'm going to do sets of 10, see how I feel. Again, I'm real stiff right now, so I'm not sure how this is going to go. But uh, we're going to knock it out. That's what these challenges are all about, is just mentally getting through them. Physically, they're very difficult, right? Actually, they're not that difficult. Push-ups are not that difficult, but when you're out of shape like I am, they are difficult, at least when you first start out. So I'm gonna get in here, I'm gonna start knocking these out again. Hopefully I start feeling a little bit looser and uh, get back into uh, the motion. By the way, had to move this light up. You may have noticed, I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but I had to pull that chain up and tie it off because I smacked my head on that light because it was hanging down to like here. So many times. I thought I was going to break this one day because it's glass, but yeah, I hit it hard. Anyway, with that being said, it's time. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, take a rest. It's that easy. Even though I'm sore, even though I'm stiff, just getting into the motion is half the battle, right? Because your your body's telling you no. Your your mind is trying to trick you. 
It's like, oh, you're sore. You shouldn't do it. You should just back out Oh, the challenge. But you guys are what's going to get me through this. It's not that I'm mentally tough because I'm about as mentally tough as a marshmallow, which is why I look like one. But, but I'll tell you this, I've pushed myself over the last year to the point where uh, I was walking five miles a day for a while. Uh, I've stopped doing that since I moved into the city, just because it's a lot harder to walk five miles around here. Um, but I'm still getting exercise in every day. I'm still doing some walking. Uh, I've got stairs incorporated into it because to get into my apartment, we've got stairs. Uh, it's like 40 steps. So that's always fun to carry my groceries and then move all my weight equipment and all that stuff in. But uh, yeah, like I said, we're still exercising, still getting out moving. I've spent most of my life sitting down, which sounds crazy when you think about it, but when you drive an hour to work and an hour home from work and you spend most of your day at work sitting on your butt on a forklift for years, guess what? That's the way it goes. You spend most of your life sitting down. Um, but I, I've managed to put myself back into a position. I weighed in this morning, by the way. I weighed in at 231.1. I was 231.9 yesterday before I ate. So 231.1, we're doing good. Uh, I'm this close to getting below that 230 mark that has just kept me or kept away from me for so long. I, I want to get below 230 for sure. That's my next goal. And then from there, we're going to go for 220. Uh, it has taken a couple of months here to try to get below 230. We've been stuck in the 230s and then going back up into the 240s and back down for so long. And it, it can be really disheartening. Uh, and that's something I want to tell you guys too. I've seen a lot of comments down below where people say, well, I started losing weight and then I, I've kind of fallen off of the, the wagon and gotten back up and started gaining all those stuff that I've lost. Here's the one thing I will tell you. Small changes, guys. Small. Small changes. Uh, start out with cutting your sugar intake. That, I'm not joking. Cut your sugar intake down uh, as much as you can. Don't worry about calories for now. Cut your sugar and that will help you immensely and that will be weight that you can keep off easily because you don't realize just how much sugar you eat um for me it was like sugary drinks ice cream the ice cream is a really bad one you know i'm talking about calories but but we're not going to get into that it, it's 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 okay to start gaining weight again what you need to do is recognize when you're gaining weight what you're doing wrong and then get back at it and get back to work and drop that weight back off um, and that's the hard part just recognizing what you do wrong and getting back to work and knocking that out um, just last week I was back up to 245 pounds that's rough that's, that's, that's a lot of extra weight but between last week and this week doing everything I can to eat better um, control how many calories I'm eating and, uh, you know, I've been able to drop all the way back down to 231.1 uh, in a short amount of time. And that just goes to show you that a lot of the weight that you gain quickly, like when your mind is tricking you, isn't fat. It really isn't. It's actually not as easy to put fat on as you might think. Uh, just like it isn't easy to burn the fat off, uh, you have to do certain things to try to get rid of the fat, like control how many calories you're eating, and then also try to get your body to burn fat rather than sugars, which is why I say cut out the, the sugars especially. Um, anyway, I'm getting off track. We need to do another set. I'll do this set and then we'll come back and talk. All right, 10 more, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, that's 20. Another break. All right, um, where was I? Oh yeah, so getting your body to, to stop digesting sugars and because sugars are easy energy, right? Why do you think energy drinks are 90% sugar? It, it's that, it's not the caffeine in the energy drinks. It's not the, uh, the other ingredients that you see, it is sugar. Um, that gives you the majority of your energy from an energy drink. Your body easily turns sugar into energy. 
Which is why, if you're eating sugar, your body's not burning fat. It'll burn the sugar before it burns the fat. So if you lower the amount of sugar that you're bringing in every day, you burn more fat. It's just science. Uh, it's easy to say that. It's harder to get into a uh, uh, healthier eating habit where you're not eating all those sugars. Uh, one thing that I have done over the last year is experimented with my diet and seen all of the different things. I've tried all kinds of things to try to do. I've went everything from uh, had crash dieting with my diet all the way down to 750 to 1200 calories a day, which is rough. If you've never done that, I don't recommend it. Why? Because it's not sustainable for me anyway. Uh, I don't have the mental fortitude to, to maintain that for much longer than a couple of weeks. Uh, and then I, then I end up binging and then you gain all that weight back and you're like, ah, I'm stuck. But the thing is, if you make smaller changes over time, it adds up. And so getting back on to a 2000 calorie diet, which is plenty of calories, guys. If you ever start, and I'm not saying track your calories to the point where you're writing down everything you eat, how much you eat, all that, that that'll drive you insane. I'm saying just become a, more aware of what you're eating, how much you're eating, and just limit that. You can still eat all the stuff you love. Uh, some of them are bad or not necessarily bad for you as they are just really calorie dense, like ice creams and sugars. They're really calorie dense. So if you cut back on those, you can eat more of the other things like pastas. I love pastas. All right. Everybody's like, oh, you shouldn't eat carbs and all this. But I'll tell you what, even with eating carbs, I can lose weight. Uh, you don't have to cut out carbs. Everybody's always talking about carbs. Carbs can also be turned into sugar risk. I don't know how it works. Aaron can tell you he's the guy uh, that, that's behind the scenes that has all the uh, info since he's going to school to become a doctor at some point. But anyway, he has all that sort of stuff. I just know what I've tried and, and honestly, I'm happier and I'm still losing weight at a 2000 calorie diet than I was at 1500 and below. Um, but that's just me. Uh, everybody's different. Everybody's body works a little different. You got to find out what your body takes each day just to get through. Uh, believe it or not, just existing, your body burns calories. You don't have to be doing anything. You'd be sitting your butt playing video games. Your body's burning calories. Uh, so find out what your uh, daily calorie burn is. And you do that by just adjusting how much you're eating. Uh, you can, you can, check it with stuff like uh i've got a fitbit if you're wondering what this is this is a fitbit which helps me a lot tracking all of the stuff as far as movements and how many calories i burn throughout the day because it monitors my heart rate and all of the things uh skin temperature all the things so like it it helps me immensely but uh, once you find the base calories that your body burns for me it's like 2300 okay somewhere in that neighborhood. That may not be completely accurate. It may be slightly lower than 2200 or 2150 or something like that, but it's somewhere in that 21 to 2300 calorie range. I'm six foot two, I'm 231 pounds. Uh, my body burns roughly that every day, uh, just existing. You add movement into that, you're gonna burn more calories, obviously. You, you add exercise and, and so on and so forth, you burn more calories. Uh, one of the best exercises for burning calories, if you didn't know, is just walking. Believe it or not, you can go in here and lift weights for an hour. You won't burn as many calories as if you do uh, a nice little five mile walk. I'm not joking. The amount of calories you burn while lifting weights, nothing compared to what you burn just by walking. Uh, so definitely something to consider. It's not hard. Everybody can do it for the most part. I do, I do recognize that there are people that can't walk and I understand that. But uh, just adding small movements throughout the day, like uh, standing once in a while, you know, just get up and stand and then sit back down and then, you know, before you know it, you're doing squats. All right, let's get in here and knock out another 20 or 10, sorry. One, two, Three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. That's 30 down, guys. I'll be honest, the sets of 10 are a lot nicer. Already starting to feel getting sore though again. So if we do uh, one more set of 10, that takes us up to 40. Uh, we'll have to do that four times. So you might see a couple of these uh, spliced together uh, for my days moving forward. But uh, we are gonna do it. One way or another, we're gonna knock it out. Because I have all y'all pushing me, believe it or not. I want to say there was over 200 comments yesterday of people saying, great job, you got this, we, we support you, things like that. How can I fail with that behind me? Seriously, just think about that. And for those of you who are watching, put your progress down below. I know there's a lot of you trying this, and I know you can do it. Just, I mean, look at me. Look at me, I can do this. If I can do this with your help, you guys can do it with my help and with each other's help. Because down in the comments, you guys are awesome. So with that being said, let's knock out another 10 here. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. So that's the first session done. Well, I forgot. Like I said, one extra rep each time we complete a session for Haas. So let's hit it. This one's for you, Haas. There you go. And each session I record today, we'll do an extra rep for Haas. And uh, so there's 41 knocked out. So uh, I'm going to let you guys go now. And I'll see you in the next session. It, it'll be an hour or so from now. But you guys, it, it'll just be immediate. So you're, you're lucky. <laughs> All right. So uh, I'll see you then. All right, we're back for session number two. Uh, it's not been an hour, it's been about 30 minutes. So uh, I'm not gonna talk as much this time, I'm just gonna knock these out. I think I drug you guys into a little bit too long in the first part, so I mean, we were already at 17 minutes or something like that, so gotta try to speed up the rest of this. So anyway, here we go. First set of 10, let's do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, give us a little bit of a break. I'm not gonna lie, it's already already hard to finish these ten. Uh, we've got. 30 more to go, and then the extra rep, obviously. So, just trying to get back in here, knock them out. By the way, I don't know if you guys see these or not, love bananas. I'll have all those gone by the end of a couple days, usually. Depends, some days I eat like one a day, and then some days I'll eat like three of them. I love bananas. Oh gosh. I guess while we're while we're relaxing for a minute, let's take you guys on a little bit of a, a walk. All right, so this is my storage room. This will eventually be an office, but just a little little tiny bedroom, but kind of a mess at the moment. But uh, I want to I want to turn that into an office at some point. This is my uh, front room. Obviously, kind of taken over by my weight equipment and exercise stuff at the moment, but. Uh, Pretty simple. Got uh, my telescope over here, my five inch, uh, God, I can't even remember. Celestron, there it is. I couldn't remember what it was, but it's a five inch Nexstar uh, 5SE. Um, 
I've got a self-tracking camera on it so that it can find where we are. I've got this little machine here, which is for squats. Uh, I like doing squats. A lot of people don't, but uh, this thing's kind of nice for when you're doing squats. It helps make sure that you get the motion right so that you're not uh, leaning too far forward or backwards. It's kind of nice. Of course, exercise bike for cardio. And then we've got the weight machine here, the Gold's Gym, which is pretty, pretty nice to have. Um, I've got all the other stuff down there, um, but this thing's pretty nice, not gonna lie. Uh, I forget how many plates it has. I want to say it's 10 plates. Uh, each of them are... Honestly, I don't remember. Either way, it's, it's a good enough workout. Uh, I'm not trying to get ridiculously jacked or anything like that. I'm just trying to go for reps and stay in shape or get into shape. Uh, and then, of course, we got the bathroom. I'm not going to lie. Of all the places in the house, this is the one place that suffers the most as far as, uh, well suffers for a lot of reasons but it's uh kind of tiny so like really tiny to the point where i've got to like kind of be careful when i'm walking in here i I've, I've bumped this so many times but uh it's not a bad little apartment for what it is you know 500 dollars a month i can't argue with it and i know there's some people probably want to see the bedroom this is where currently everything happens I've got my chair for recording i pull it over Got my little desk with keyboard, got my TV, my Xbox, my two PCs. The one PC I'm not even having to use here because I don't need to. Uh, I get everything done on the single PC now, which I don't know if you guys can see or not. So you got that going on down there, watching the Michigan game in between uh, sessions. But uh, let's get back in here, knock out another 10. All right, let's do it. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Two more sets to go. <sighs> to total it up, that's 61 for the day that we've done. By the time we're done with this, we'll have 82 done, which is over halfway. I think doing the sets of 10 is going to help in the long run, uh, but after yesterday, man, my my arms are just dead. Just absolutely murdered. But, uh, yeah. All right. A little bit shorter of a rest here. But... Kind of don't want to drag you guys out too long after that first set or the first session. So let's go ahead and knock out another another 10. Let's do it. One. Okay. Maybe maybe a little early. Two. Three. Four. Five. Okay. This is not working. Come on. Knock them out. <laughs> yeah, hold on. That's six. Uh, oh my God. Okay. When you start twisting and stuff like that because you're exhausted, or your muscles are just to the point where they're not working properly, you got to stop. Otherwise, you're going to hurt yourself. Those movements aren't good for you. So we did six there, got to do four more, and then we got to do one last set of 10, which we do 11, obviously. <sighs> Come on. One, two, three, 
four, all right, all right. One more set, guys. To give ourselves a little bit more of a break this time, not gonna lie. It definitely sucks, there's no doubt about it. But that's what makes it a challenge. We accepted the challenge, we're gonna knock it out. Uh oh, did Michigan score? Beautiful throw. Michigan takes the lead, 6 nothing. Awesome. All right. Oh, by the way, I'm a Michigan fan, if you didn't know. It's been a rough 20 years. Let's just put it that way. All right. Sad part is they do this to me every time. Like every year, I get into that. I'm not gonna watch Michigan this year because they just keep letting me down. And then they suck me in by actually playing decent until they actually need to win, and then they just throw it away. So we'll see. Hopefully this year's different. But oof, the upper chest is starting to feel it now, man. Mostly been my shoulders up to this point. My shoulders have been dead, but I actually am feeling it up in here. All right, 10 more. Let's knock it out. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, okay. Two more reps. That's all I need. Two more reps. And this is what I'm saying. You don't don't rush it. Don't feel like you gotta do all the reps all, all at once. You you set a goal, you hit your goal, but take as long as you need to do it. All of us that are trying this challenge, most of us are out of shape. We don't want to hurt ourselves because if you hurt yourself, then you're going to be not exercising until you get, you know, recovered. So hurting yourself is a setback you can't afford. So pace yourself. If you start to feel like you're struggling, take a break. Knock out the last two when you get a chance. All right. One rep to finish the set and one rep for Haas. Here we go. Let's do it. One. Haas, this one's for you, buddy. Two. All right. Well, we're down with 82 so far, guys. That's over halfway. I'll see you in the next session. All right. So we are back for session number three. It's been about an hour since the last session. Uh, for the October 2nd, so second day of the challenge. Uh, let's get into it. You guys know how it is by now. Still sore, still stiff, but uh, we're gonna knock these out together. Let's do it. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Take a bit of a rest. Do it again. I don't know about you guys, 
I don't even know if you can see it or not. One of my favorite parts of, or like favorite muscles that, that I have is my calves. I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but I do love my calves. Can't help it. So if you see me looking down like that, it's because I'm looking at my, my legs. Because I'm a dork. It's the way it goes. Alright. Alright. Let's knock out another 10. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Those were pretty clean. Feeling good. Twenty down. Twenty-two to go. Or twenty, twenty-one to go. Sorry. Shoulders are tight. Tight. Toy like a toyga. Alright. While we're feeling good, let's go ahead and knock out another 10. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven. Okay, getting a little sloppy. Come on. Eight, nine, one more. Ten. All right. Thirty down. Eleven to go. Wisconsin just scored. It's 13 to 10. Come on, Blue. Must have been a big play because we just scored a field goal. That was a beautiful throw. Attacking Hill of all people. Uh, all right. Trying to keep my shoulders loose in any way I can, man. Just keep them moving. Because if I don't, they don't want to work. Day two, still struggle mode, guys. Not going to lie. I know eventually my body will start to adjust. This will get easier. And, but until then, we, are, we ride the struggle bus. I should mention I still haven't ate yet. So uh, there's that. I mean, it is 1.40 at this point. I usually only eat one meal a day, and I eat at like 4 to 5 o'clock. Um, that's just me. Nobody else has to do that. You don't have to do that to lose weight or anything. It's just the way I kind of, my body kind of works. Uh, intermittent fasting works for me, but... Uh, it's just how your body feels like if you feel better eating more smaller meals then that's fine but for me I like to eat one big meal a day so uh, but yeah uh, speaking of which today's the weekend and uh, usually on the weekend my dad and I get together and go out and eat lunch so uh, it'll be a nice nice chance to eat something uh, a little risky today by risky, I mean, it'll still be within my, my calorie goal for the day. All right, got to knock out 10 more, guys. 11, if you count the rep for Haas. Let's go. One, two, three, four. 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Come on, one for Haas, baby. One for Haas. One clean rep for Haas. Let's go. Got it. All right, guys. So another 21 in the books, or 41 in the books. 41 to go. So, uh, as always, I'll see you in the next session. All right, folks. Uh, back for the final set. We are uh, about 30 minutes later. I think it's 2 o'clock. That's not what I wanted at all. Stop it. Yeah, 208 currently. So we're going to try to knock out these last 40 or 20. Yeah, it's 21, isn't it? Wait, hold on. Think for yourself, it's 41. I don't know what I'm thinking. Four sets of 10, and then the extra one for Haas. So, uh, yeah, you guys know the deal. Let's get her done. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, a little bit of a break. We'll go from there. Whew. Feeling good. But we all know by the time we get done with this set, we're going to be completely exhausted, which is the way this challenge is supposed to be, right? Otherwise, it wouldn't be a challenge. So, uh, yeah. Hopefully, you guys are doing this with me still. Hopefully, you're hanging in. If I can do it, pretty much everybody can. And for those of you who can't, we're going to do it for you. And hopefully, uh, hopefully everybody else out there is, is doing this challenge and taking it, taking it for real. Like, honestly, if we can get a couple of people, just a couple of people, to get active and, and you know, turn their life around, then what more could we ask for? Like I said, I'm nobody special. If I can do it, anybody can. So uh, just about trying to do the best you can each and every day, stick to a plan and execute. All right, let's go 10 more. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Come on, two more. Ah, nine. Went a little too low on that one. Ten. All right. Twenty down. Twenty-one to go. Yeah, come on, feeling good. I noticed something yesterday after I was done that uh, didn't think about heading into this challenge was you use your shoulders a lot, right? You don't realize you're using your shoulders, you just do. Went to put on deodorant because I had to go shopping yesterday because my refrigerator was empty and of course you gotta eat. So went shopping yesterday to get some food, uh, get a trash can for the bathroom, that sort of deal, and uh, took him. Went to put deodorant on, and I realized that it was actually pretty, <laughs> pretty difficult. I can't even make this up. Pretty difficult to put your arm up and put deodorant on when you your shoulders are exhausted. Like it, it's actually not easy to do. Simple little things like that that throw you off. And it's not like I'm, I'm not super, super sore. It's just that the muscles don't want to work right now. They're like straight up jello. 
something happens to your muscles when they get exhausted. And if you've never felt it, it's a weird feeling. Because like I said, I know I was sore this morning when I woke up. And I'm a little sore. Like there's definitely some soreness like right in here, for sure, uh, on both arms. And some, some soreness in my shoulders. But for the most part, it's not that I'm sore. It's just when I move my arms, it's like they, they refuse to stay up. So it's weird. But uh, that being said, let's get into the next set, next 10. All right. One, two, three, four. Okay, hold that thought. All right, we did four. Still got six more for this set. Again, it's not a sprint. It's not about how fast you can do it. It's about getting the reps in and being mentally tough to fight through the uncomfortableness. It's not really pain, but uncomfortableness. Fight through the uh, mental block that you can't do something and finish. And that's where we're at right now. We're in that mental part where my body says I can't finish, but we have to make sure that we force ourselves to finish. So we did four. Let's see if we can do four more. One, two, three, four, five, six. See? Right there. Let's see if we can do four more and we knock out the rest of the set. That's ten down. Eleven to go, guys. We got this. Only one stopping you is you. All you got to do is, is believe that you can do it. And if I can do it, you can do it. Because I'm about the laziest person you ever met in your life. Alright guys. Feeling good? Let's do it. Last 11. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. All right. Take a little break. We got this. Six to go, guys. I know the audio is not that great in here either. It's all hard surfaces, so it's it's kind of echoey. I apologize for that. The acoustics aren't great, but but again, this is just where I I'm at. So uh, you know, this isn't meant to be a recording studio. It's just my apartment. But uh, I do plan on getting some stuff for the bedroom to kind of soften that up a little bit. A little bit of soundproofing material to uh, try to make my recordings better. Um, the rest of the house, I'm not too worried about. So when we do these sorts of videos, probably gonna be echoing. So I apologize. I don't like the fact that my phone just dung again. Oh, that's actually a good thing. See, Wisconsin got the ball back after halftime, and I thought maybe it was them that scored, but no, it was actually Michigan scored. So, good. We're up 20 to 10, it looks like. I think it's 20 to 10. So, uh, we're, we're holding on. All right, guys. Last set. 11 push-ups, and let's do it. One, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, okay, seven down, four to go. Whether my body wants to or not, it's going to do this. So, four to go, guys. Three to finish the challenge and one for uh, Haas. Also, another thing, a lot of you guys were uh, commenting that you appreciate how many or how much time I devote to you guys as far as reading comments and replying and hearting and liking. Uh, if I like your comment, it means I read it. If I heart your comment, it means I really, really liked what you said. And if I reply to your comment, feel pretty, pretty happy because I try to reply to as many people as I can, but when you're averaging 200 or like 150 to 200 comments per video, and now we're doing the streams as well, it kind of cuts into my day to try to to get back with you guys, but I always try. I get it. I get somewhere in the neighborhood of 5,000 comments a month, and I reply to at least half of those somewhere in that neighborhood. So uh, I try, guys. I really do. All right. I forget where we were. I think we needed three more and then one for Haas, right? I think we did seven. One, two, three, and Haas's four. There we go, baby. That is our 164 push-ups for the day. If I miscounted on that last set, you guys let me know down in the comments and I will definitely make up for it tomorrow. So, uh, cause I'm not cutting this challenge short because if we cut the challenge short, we're cutting ourselves short and we're better than that. So if you like what I'm doing, punch the like button for me, leave a comment below, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And as always, I will see you in the next video.